Welcome to a new video in my Sabgui scripting series. In this video, I show an example how to download attachment from sales orders from the business document navigator in t uh, transaction code OAER. I have a separate video on how to do the same from global object services or the attachment list. Since this is available for other objects in ERP other than sales orders, this script can be easily modified to download attachment from invoices, POs, and so on. If you are new to GUI scripting, I recommend watching my first video in this series, which explains the basics of GUI scripting and addresses some common issues. The Excel files I'm showing in this video is available for download, and you can find the link in the video description. So let's get started. If you watched my previous video on how to use the, how to download attachments you, uh, from the attachment list, this is going to be very very similar as um, as as far as the the look and feel of the uh, the Excel file itself. So again, you have the order numbers. Uh, remember this video on sales orders, or this example is uh, using sales orders. So you have the order numbers from cell A10 downwards, um, and for each of them you have a status field which. Um, is going to be zero for anything which needs to be processed and uh, whenever you set these zeros then this, uh, the the Excel also calculates how many documents are going to be processed before you um, start the uh, start extracting the documents you need to specify the system ID and the client in uh, cell B6 and the folder that, where the uh, the file needs to be extracted in um, in B7 and just remember this folder needs to exist before you start the process so I have this folder created I'm just going to create whatever was left uh, behind uh, by the uh, by the previous video and uh, if that's it um, if, if everything is set you just click on start download so what this process is going to do is it's going to call transaction OAER and um, specify the class and the class name and the class type, which is this uh, for sales orders, clicks execute, which comes up with the search screen, is going to enter the sales order number. And in the in the sales orders, you see the these different document types. So the code is actually going to go through this hierarchy, um, expand all these nodes, um, find all the attachments, and use the export document functionality to export it from Business Document Navigator. And you can see in this example as well, this document was created or this attachment was created in Global Object Services, so it cannot be exported right here. But if I select another one, then I'm getting a nice uh, pop-up window where I can specify the, uh, the, the, the folder where I want to extract this. And if I do temp, and I get a message that the document was successfully exported. And yeah, sure enough, it is here. So that's what the script is going to go. Uh, script is going to do, and uh, and for every single document, it's going, it's just going to restart the transaction, start it all over again, uh, it explode this hierarchy, and then try to ex ex um, extract everything, every single document. Just to show you in action, I have two documents. I have um, both, uh, set both of the statuses to zero and I click on start download and if I switch back to the GUI you can see the code basically doing that and uh, that was all uh, at the end you are getting a message uh, from Excel saying that the script has been completed and if you go into the log you see the different documents um, uh, the different documents being opened uh, the these nodes um, which are um sorry yeah these folders which are the general documents or the attachments being exploded uh, or opened and then each of the documents within uh downloaded um when i'm doing this in the so as i'm going through this hierarchy in the document i couldn't get the document number on all i'm getting is this uh, technical id behind it so and the same for the folder so this is why you are seeing these codes instead of the um the attachments name which is visible on the gui before we go into the code um i think we should be doing a test recording uh, just to see what the uh what sap generates so um i'm calling up the 
a recording and I'm just setting a file name and I click on execute. So the transaction is slash n o a e r and I'm setting the class name and the class type which is bo and I click execute. I select the order number which is one execute and um, I'm going to open these uh, uh, folders and I'm going to click on the all the attachments and uh, setting the extraction folder yep and the next one as well and then the temp and that's pretty much it so let's see how the recording looks like okay uh, sorry this is a previous one okay that's my recording and um, um, just like before we can ignore this uh, the this beginning part which is all about um, creating the objects so the actual magic starts here which um, the first one is maximize the windows uh, call the transaction set the class type and the sorry the class name and the class type uh, click on um, execute uh, set the document number which is one in my case click on execute and this code here is actually um, happens all in here in the um, in the business document navigator, and as you can see, the all the code is really difficult uh, to read, and um, uh, because it contains these expand nodes and the and the select items, which all um, uh, link to like document IDs, which I think it would be really difficult to get. Uh, programmatically so when we look into code it, we will see that the the actual visual basic code in excel looks uh, quite uh, different from this so back in the excel i'm just i uh, click on alt f11 uh, to go into the um to the visual basic editor and uh, just as a reminder um, in order to make this uh, script work, uh, we need the Vidian tools references. We need the SAP GUI scripting API uh, linked uh, or set as an available reference, which if it doesn't appear in the list, you can use the browse button and it's under program file SAP frontend SAP GUI and SAP F E W S E dot O C X. Um, when we click on the start download button, we can see that the start extract method is getting executed. And um, besides the start extract, uh, there are two utility routines um, I put into this Excel. The first is the reset log, which uh, doesn't do much, but resets this log. So it just deletes all the uh, previous lines from the log file. And there is an add log, which is well, the, as the name suggests, it adds another it adds another line to the log. So it uses an ID and a message, and sorry. And the last parameter is a call is a color. So and most of this code is actually about how to format these two columns. So this is why this is so many code in here. But um, uh, it doesn't do anything other than that. Uh, back to the main function. So the extract uh, start extract is going to set some uh, variables. So the W system gets the uh, the system ID and the SID from from this cell. And then again, we are setting some parameters. We are reset, resetting the logs, and then we set the uh, the the current line internal variable to ten because the order numbers are they all start from line ten. And we are checking whether column uh, the first column, which is column A, has a value. So if we have an order number, and we are checking if column two, which is the status column, is zero. So it's uh, set in to, to be processed uh, state. And if that's the case, we will run the uh, run GUI script method, which is the main uh, logic uh, uh, that contains the you know the whole extraction and everything. Um, so run GUI script current line. So um, again, this is this uh, method is responsible for extracting all the document, all the attachments from one single uh, document, which is in this case a sales order. Um, in the first few lines, we are just checking uh, checking whether the, the there is a session uh, we have attached to, which is basically this function, 
and it's exactly the same function what I used in in all my other videos as well or all my other scripts as well uh, next we are getting some values from the from the document itself so we get the document number which is the active uh, line um, in column A and we also get the folder which is here in B7 so we are storing them locally and then we start the whole uh, well we start the beginning of the script which uh, what we have recorded so we start the transaction we set the business uh, the class and the business object and then we execute and the next we are setting the uh, the the document number so object id dot value and you see exactly the same here i just replaced the constant one with the with the local variable which is the document number and then we press enter to open up the this screen the business document navigator and this is where most of the magic starts well actually before that um uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a separate folder for every single document so all the documents will get saved in the, in the respective folder and the folder name is the document number so if you don't want that if you want all the attachments to be in the same folder you just un just comment these two lines like this oops okay I'm going to leave them so back to the magic um, this is going to this piece of code is going to be a little difficult to understand so i'm not really going to going into the details of this but um the this business document navigator or this part of the navigator is called a, a three grid view i think this is how it's called in sap terms and it has a a set of functions where uh in which which you can use to explore the entire structure so um, if uh, so that's the name of the control so if we uh, if we can get the uh, get notes calls uh, then we are getting all the um, uh, we are basically evaluating the tree control and then we are getting the uh, sorry uh, we are uh, and then gives this gives us the root node which is like uh, this one, which is, is basically says sales orders. So we expand that and then we need to get all the document types like general documents attachment. And again, we need to expand that to get all the documents. And that's pretty much what is happening here. So this is document types, we get all the document types. Then we have a, a for loop, which cycles through all the document types and it's adding the log that it navigates into this document type and blah 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 and then within the document type node we are getting the document list and then yet we have another uh, cycle within the previous cycle or uh, sorry a for uh, loop within the previous for loop which now is going to go through all our documents and um, for every single document is going to press this button which is the export document button and uh, uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to handle all the errors when the uh, uh, the export basically fails. So if I have a document which is uh, attached via the global object services, we can't do, download them in BDN. And I'm just trying to handle that here uh, so the, uh, uh, the script can continue and well, basically just fails gracefully instead of the whole thing just giving a really nasty error message. So um, in Visual Basic, there is uh, a simple error handling. So I'm just issuing this command on error go to download failed. So if anything um, fails in these these few lines, the uh, the execution jumps to this label here. So I'm I'm trying to. So I I just pressed uh, the save button or the export button, and I'm trying to set the folder. I'm trying to set the well, that's pretty much it because it only has a folder. So if um, if I didn't get the pop up, this this uh, uh, command or this line is going to fail, and I can I can just issue um, a message saying that the saving of the document has failed with you know with red colors. Um, but if all these manage to succeed, then I'm I'm setting the download success to true, so it's not going to issue a failed message. Um, but other than that, 
so as you can see all I'm doing is exp I'm exploring all this hierarchy and for every single document that I find I try to export it and if it, it succeeds then the document gets exported and if it doesn't succeed then I just get a red line in the log saying that something did not go as planned and at the end of both of the loops well yeah at the end of the yeah two four loops uh, I'm just setting the uh, the status to one um, and and then I come out of the sub and if anything fails then uh, besides this error handling method I'm go to, going to this error handling method or this error handling point which sets the status to two um, and this would happen if let's say you don't have access to open the transaction or you don't have access to open the business document or anything like that other than the other saving failed so this happens in a in a big loop um, uh, for every single document where the status is set to zero there are two more functions um, in the code which i haven't yet mentioned is the create folder and the folder exist and they are used to create the subfolders here uh, for every single document if you if you leave these uh, if the leave these two lines uncommented otherwise they wouldn't be used for anything um, last I would like to go back to the uh, what I've mentioned in the beginning of the video that um, even though I'm, I'm creating this example for sales orders this can be used for any other documents as well so um, by starting these transactions you always have the option to change a different document here so let's say uh, I don't remember what this is okay goods movement so uh, you have a goods movement and then you execute you will likely to get a different um, uh, search field or the search screen but again you can enter your material document here and the uh, and the year and you will be greeted with the same uh, business document navigator what uh, I have shown you here unfortunately I don't have a, uh, a goods movement document to show you this one but uh, anyway you will land in exactly the same page which means that this code can be easily adapted for different document types as well and all you would need to do is cre create your own recording like I did in the beginning of the video so your recording is going to look like this and that would have um, a pretty similar structure and uh, you see here as I, I explained it in the in the beginning that it will have a couple of lines for displaying the document setting the document type executing it displaying the search screen where you set the um, the actual document number and you click on execute so these are the lines you would need to take from a recording uh, uh, which shows or well, which is created by accessing or opening up a different document type and then pasting pasting it into here in the code and again um, uh, just remember that when SAP creates these scripts they the the session is always called a session uh, and um, back many years ago I, I just changed the name of this variable to this one uh, so it's object session in abbreviated like this so whenever you are copying script over from the from the recording always change the session to this session otherwise you will get error messages and again uh, and, and and don't remember sorry don't forget to change the fixed value uh, the fixed document number that you're getting uh, from the, getting in the um, in the recording with the actual internal variable which in my case is document number but again if you are using different documents where you would have you know multiple not just the document number but maybe let's say the year then again you have to make a few more changes to this Excel document anyway just don't forget to change your uh, uh, static variables or fixed constants to variables I think that should be pretty much it about downloading documents from the business document navigator I hope you can find this example and you can change the coding so you can download attachment from different ERP documents whatever your business scenario requires you to do so thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.